You let them know. This is the woodlot next door, folks. Um, it was all cut down a couple of months ago, and they brought in a small excavator last night. And in two hours, they've trucked away all the hog fuel, and here they are just loading up the excavator again. It was middle of the night when they came in last night with the excavator, so, you know, I couldn't take any video then. Well, I'm taking this short video right now of how they're loading this small unit. Pretty cool. This this is a baby excavator compared to the one they had here to take down the trees. And this company is Sanichton Developments. Uh, never heard of them, but you know we're here in Sanichton, so it must be some sort of a local outfit. Neato. I wonder what the next step is. Wait for it to dry out and then start the building process, or start hauling gravel and make an entranceway. And I wonder what they'll do with the hollow, because it's a bloody great hollow um, down towards the highway that may have been at one point in the distant past um, some kind of a draw or maybe even a crick. Uh, certainly when you go across the highway and look on the other side, there's a big culvert under the highway. So, um, yeah, very interesting. It'll be interesting to see what happens next year. Man. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. Well, I don't think... Oh, here we're going to rotate and put the bucket down behind them, I guess. And it's, uh, you know, a standard tandem dump, dump truck that's hauling that flat deck. I mean, uh, uh, or, yeah, equipment trailer, I guess it is. Uh... I would hope they're going to put that bucket down and not just leave it like that. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> a long time ago, well, years and years ago, when I was into sports car racing, I had our, our garage was down in the hollow by the four mile. Anybody in Victoria will know where that is. Of course, the four miles long since gone. There's a development there now. But there was an old house house there, which was a couple of acres, I guess, and that was where our our development garage was and then the point of the story was one day there was an almighty crash and i do mean almighty and we we went down to the end of the driveway to have a look see and a dnd that's department of national defense um uh low bed was carrying a large excavator and they hadn't positioned the boom correctly and it had slammed into the railway bridge there moved the bridge over about a foot <laughs> and literally snapped the boom off. Oh, what a mess. I, w I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't have seen it. And of course, military police and Esquimalt police and blah and traffic jams and, you know, yeah, all kinds of fun and games. I guess I'm just like a big kid with big toys. I've, I've operated some of this equipment when I was at, at uh, Heavy Duty Mechanics at Nanaimo also years ago. I guess that was about 1973. And so I'm still fascinated by it, especially when it's right close by. All right, don't think there's much else to see here, and goodbye for now.